All right, so this is the instructions for what you're going to do when you are doing a lab that requires you to fork and clone something, okay? The way that this works, and I told you I'd go over this again when we talked about it, is our labs have, um, they're all set up already so that all you have to do is follow the instructions listed in Notion. Here, it's asking that you're signed into GitHub and that you navigate to this repository. This repository is the, um, uh, bah, 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 bah. the uh, arrays lab you can see it's part of our group organization which i've invited all of you to so if you still get a 404 with this that means you probably haven't accepted your invitation okay um one second So the what, next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to fork this repository. And what forking does is makes a copy of this repository in our personal GitHub. Okay, So it's just making a copy. It's saying, take the code base that currently exists here and go make a copy of it on my GitHub. Okay, So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to click fork. And it's not going to say choose owner for you because you all already have this. Uh, you do, none of you have this already, uh, and you shouldn't have multiple GitHub accounts. Um, the uh, let me delete this on mine real quick. Sorry. Uno momento. Do you, you have like a bin soundboard where we get all your little noises in one I have spot? a David soundboard. Oh, that's great. Yeah, his noises one are way you, better than mine. One of you have to make a bin soundboard, yeah. And where is it? That's one of our projects, make a bin person. soundboard. Yeah, you, yeah. Got, you can make an outro. There's a, I keep a, where is it? Yeah, the sounds of Stinson. I have all sorts of fun David sounds, some of which are absolutely hilarious. So here's David saying the word croissant. <clears throat> croissant. No, no, that's bad. Croissant. Cro cro no, that's bad too. Croissant. Cro croissant. Anyway, that goes on for like 10 more seconds. It's good stuff. I can't wait for you all to meet David. He's awesome. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to fork this repository. Okay, and click fork. And it's going to say, cool, that name is available. And you're going to hit create fork. Okay, what this does is when it finishes, okay, it creates a copy of the organization version of that lab. So the one that we wrote on your GitHub, okay? So now this exists on my GitHub. Okay, did everybody get forking to work? Excellent. So now that this exists on our GitHub, we need to get it onto our computers so that we're able to do something with it, okay? We forked it. Forking takes a, a repo that exists somewhere in an organization that is not ours and puts it in ours, okay? We're gonna do this all the time in unit three too. Well, you're gonna do it for your unit three projects. We're gonna do this for almost every lab we have. You're gonna do fork and clone the lab. Forking, copy from our organization to your GitHub, and then we're going to clone that from your GitHub to your computer. Clone takes a repo that's in the cloud and brings it down to your machine, okay? So that's the next step. You can see all of the instructions here are like there's not everything is numbered. This is all very, very detailed. Okay. So there shouldn't be any questions on this. You just have to read it. But if you do have questions, ask them. Okay. Um, ben, I still can't seem to find the invite for, for GitHub. Um, 
I'm like oh, looking um, through my email. Michelle, uh, you can just yes. go to your GitHub page, click on your icon, and then you can go to your organizations and you'll see like the request sent by the uh, SEO. Thank you. That was very helpful. Yep. Cool. I did not know that. Well, Ari is already smarter than all I of us. I did not get an email. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I, I couldn't find it in my email, and I'm like, okay, what do I do? Cool. All right. So we forked it. Now we're going to clone it. Okay. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our labs directory. So let's open a new terminal. Okay, that's a brand new terminal. And I'm going to go into my labs directory. So I'm going to go CD code. SEI labs. Okay. This is where I want my lab to live. This is everyone wake up. This is a giant important moment. When you clone a repository, it is going to make a directory for that repository already. I do not need to make a directory here to put my repository in. Don't do that. Okay. When you clone a repository, it will make that directory for you as you're going to see here in just a second, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, according to my instructions, the next thing that I need to do is take this URL, I'm gonna click on the little code button and I'm gonna click copy, okay? This is my URL to my lab on my GitHub repo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my labs directory and I'm gonna type git clone and hit paste. And what that does is it takes all of the code that's in this repository, which is just one file at this point, and it clones it into a directory here called JS Arrays Lab, which I can now CD into. You'll see that it's a Git repo, which, duh, you just cloned it and I can open it in VS Code. And you will see that we have a list of exercises, one through 15. Okay. Exercise one has been completed for you. Okay. The other thing that you need to do, I'm pretty sure, is create an index.html file. Okay, I'm going to let you all do the, the second part of this on your own. You have to create an index.html file, and then you have to add a script file or a script tag to that, and then you'll be able to do these exercises. Okay, What you're going to do is you're going to follow through these instructions and do exactly what the, the lab asks you to. Okay, Exercise two, add the strings pizza and cheeseburger to the foods array such that pizza comes before cheeseburger. Okay, I'm going to walk you through this here real quick just to show you. But to create an index.html file, I could just type new index.html, add my boilerplate. I'm doing this fast. I get it. You'll have a video to go look at later. Script tag, where we have dot slash app.js. Make sure we add defer. This should now be linked. Okay. Ace, I'll get you in just a second. We can test that it's linked by hitting go live. And you'll see when you do that, that you have exercise one, result, result, result for all of the different exercises. Okay. And then the point of this lab is to take the exercises and to figure out what the solutions are for them. So if you're looking at app.js, exercise one's been completed for us already. Exercise two, add the strings pizza and cheeseburger to the foods array such that pizza comes before cheeseburger. So to do that, I would say foods.push pizza cheeseburger. And you'll see that the result for exercise two is pizza cheeseburger. Okay. Pizza comes before cheeseburger. I can verify that because if I look at my uh, notion, the solutions or down here, it shows you exactly what your solution should look like for a perfect lab. 
So if you have pizza cheeseburger for result two, you win. Okay. I, I Christina, I see you. I will get you in just a second. Keep your hand up. They say, if you want to put your hand back up too, so I don't forget you, that'd be great. Um, the important thing here to remember, and this is where good habits start getting developed. Okay. What I'm going to be looking for in your projects is that after every feature you've completed, you add, commit, and push your code. Solving an exercise is considered a feature. Okay. So after every exercise that you complete, I want you to get add, get commit. Our message here is going to be uh, solve exercise two. And I'm going to get push origin main. What that does is that pushes my code to GitHub, which you can see. Yeah. Solve exercise two. Just do that 14 more times until you've solved all 15 exercises. Okay. Some of these exercises are hard. Okay. I'm going to go over them in the morning because invariably what will happen is half of you will get stumped and say, ah, it's hard. And then I'll go over it. Okay. That's how some of these labs go. So if you get stuck on something, don't sit there for six hours looking at it and banging your head against the desk. Either go to TA hours, send a message. We, we'll talk about how to use the engineering channel later. Okay. Do not struggle on these for that long without asking for help and reaching out. Okay. It is too early in the course for that. I need you all rested. I don't need you stressing out about how to solve a stupid array problem for six hours. Please don't do that. Okay. Reach out. Questions. Okay. Uh, Asa, you were first, so I'm going to get you first. What's up? Uh, when I try to clone it to uh, my computer, it comes up with a uh, authentication was removed, whatever. Yeah, I'm just going to share my screen, make it a lot easier. I can't. Cool. Um, we need to fix your credential manager. So it, you 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 set up GitHub incorrectly on your machine. So we just need to fix that. Oh, did so, I? Okay. Yep. We'll get that later. Um, actually, just do this for me real quick. Type gh space auth space login. And then hit enter. Enter. Yes. Enter. And then I did this it, before. Uh, let's just try it again real quick. If this doesn't work, we just need to update your credential manager, which is something I need David's help for. You should be able to hit enter. Now, control click on GitHub login. Yeah. And perfect. Okay. All right. Cool. Oh, okay. You're already cool. logged in. Okay. That's weird. Um, yeah. Let's take a look at that. If, if that doesn't work, hit up a couple times in your terminal and see if, um, yeah, try that. Yeah. We need to take a look at that. So hold off for now. I'll help you with that later. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you. Cool. Uh, Christina, I got you next. Um, I was just trying to follow along again, but I got lost. How do you add the boilerplate for HTML? Exclamation point tab. Exclamation. Oh, okay. And then my cool. second one for like the git commit messages. I remember we had to put it in a specific tense. We we're supposed to present. put it in present tense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Thomas. Oh, yeah, type. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, you technically do not need to push every time because committing all of your commits will be, if you push them all at the end, that works. Uh, but if you have cats, I recommend pushing every time because if a cat spills something on your keyboard, or then you're screwed. So it, get in the habit of pushing. It's, there's nothing wrong with that, but you don't have to. Make sure you're committing them. Uh, now. 
Um, so this is something that actually kind of got me caught up when I was doing the like pre-course assessment. Um, at least with this lab, like you said, you know, we might get stuck in some place. We'll talk about it. Is this lab structured in a way where if you get stuck, you can skip and move forward? Or is it like cascading of like, if you can't figure out five, like eight later is not going to happen. That is true. It will do that, but for chunks. So there's a bunch of chunks that deal with food. There's a chunk that deals with numbers. And there's, a, I think, a third chunk that deals with something else. Um, but yes, that is the case. If you get stuck on one, sometimes you won't be able to move to the, the to the next one. But that was so something I was, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, you're going to want to solve these uh, sequentially. Okay. Um, we'll talk about engineering and how to work through solving problems later this afternoon. Markela? Uh, yes, sir. So I got a little behind. I think I'm the answer. So, is there another way to get the URL if I didn't hit copy? Can I just? You copy should go to the repo to do that. So it's it's okay if you didn't. I didn't mean for anyone to follow along here. I was just like zipping through it so that you'd have a video to how to of how to do it, and you can check the video out later if you got. Because I guarantee you, only about half of you actually got through that. Totally fine. Yeah. So I was showing the how to set it up later so that you have a video of how to do that. You just watch the video, you'll be set. Yes. Cool. Rich? I realize this might fall into that exact same category, but uh, in your uh, VS Code a minute ago, you had the thing where, where you could see if the results worked or not. And I was just wondering if you could show us again how you got to that little. All I did was open live server. And when you open live server, it'll open it in a browser. And all you have to do is open your um, Dev tools in the browser, and that's how oh. you can see where the results are. Dev tools in the browser. That's the part I forgot. Thanks. Yep. Cool. Excellent. 